Welcome back, everybody. This is I Am Bread, a game by Bossa Studios, the same people behind Surgeon Simulator. You know, it's just one of those physics-based games, but it's about a piece of bread this time, trying to toast yourself. I guess there's more to it than that in terms of the story, uh, considering at the beginning of this, <laughs> it's like some notes of a therapy session for someone at the therapy barn, you know, where people and pigs can get therapy. Not sure how this ties in to being a piece of bread that's trying to toast, it, trying to toast itself, but maybe it will show up down the line. I have no idea. Uh, I guess this game could be considered YouTube fodder. Sure, whatever. You know, it's in the same vein as Surgeon Simulator and other games like Octodad, but I really liked Octodad. I thought that it did it very well when it comes to hard physics-based gameplay and having decent level design and a goofy story, you know? It works for this kind of thing, and they did it pretty well. It's probably my favorite one out of this kind of genre of physics simulator type games, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Something about a dude who just wants to go out and buy a bunch of food and get fat, whatever. You know, he can have his way. I, the only thing that matters to me is that I have to go over here. You can see the toaster at the other side of the room. And obviously your goal is to get there without uh, becoming inedible by like touching the floor or whatever else is around the place that will make your bread inedible. I think there's a sink with some water in it, some bugs on the other table. But you can see you can grip on. I am definitely playing with a controller because I don't think that this would be very fun with a keyboard and mouse. I don't even want to try it. No thank you. So you have uh, a grip meter. So it fills up and then once you start using a grip, it runs out. And once it runs out, it just drops you until it has to refill and you'll have to catch yourself. So it's, you know, whenever you're trying to climb something, you can screw yourself over. I'm just opening this uh, to see if I can actually butter this toast. <laughs> and then I might even put some jam on it, you know? Try to spice it up as we uh, go over. Yeah, that's how you do it. Piece of bread. Breaking ceramic household items that house butter. Uh, I guess I can apply the butter by just laying on it. Not sure. I'm gonna try, but I can't catch a grip. Not even one little bit. Sure, that's that, that's enough butter. Fine. Let's go get some strawberry jam. Beautiful. Just a little bit, you know, not too much. You don't want to overindulge. <laughs> Just one little bite. And then we can move on. So, you can grip on anything, so you can go and climb the walls if you want to, but... I believe that the best way to get over there without touching the floor is to like knock this chair over. Also anything else that stands in your way, like a, a plate with a fish bone on it. Although I'm not strong enough to lift this completely, I'm trying. I'm trying my damnedest. <laughs> it's not working out. All right, I'll, oh, well. Eh. That doesn't seem like it was supposed to happen, but you know, we'll take it in stride because I didn't fall to the floor. I think there's a skateboard down there too. I don't know if you can actually manipulate that skateboard to go with you the whole way. Okay, so as you can see, well, I have fallen to the ground now. So I am becoming disgusting because I am on a man's mud prints on the floor and nobody wants to eat that, obviously. But it's not the five second rule, it's more like the five minute rule in, in this household, so we have a little bit of leeway. Unless you get crushed by said chair. It really does take this long to become inedible by being on the floor. I mean, I actually can't move. I have ruined myself. Uh, I don't think controller uh, things fully work. I think I have to click on this to play again. Which is a little obnoxious, but you know, whatever. It's okay. Well, let's do this again, but I can forget about the butter and the jam. I don't know what the hell that is in the bowl. It looks like somebody just put corn kernels 
into a bowl of milk. Uh, that's not what I would call cereal. Exactly. To each his own, I guess. So yeah, you can tell that this is a little bit frustrating in its physics. Par for the course for this kind of game. I guess the question is, does it become uh, easier once you learn the controls? You know, that's that's where Octodad became a very enjoyable game for me was, yes, it, it took me a bit to figure out what I was doing, but once you master it, the game actually becomes very fun to speed run. And I did find some enjoyment in doing that whenever I did play it, doing the first uh, few levels and trying to beat the developer's time, which I was able to do. And it was nice to, to learn the, uh, the different quirks of the map and how to throw yourself around correctly once you were able to learn how to manipulate Octodad. So I should be able to uh, avoid these ants that are just around this raw meat that somebody forgot to eat. You know, that happens all the time and try to get over there. I think I can go in between the refrigerator and that cabinet. That music is really loud, but that's okay. Yeah, even louder when you do that. So what I should be doing is going over here and avoiding the bugs. Turning myself a little bit, flip over one more time, maybe turn just a little bit more. And now, I can start flipping. I don't know if these, yeah, well, you know, I should have thought of that beforehand, but it's okay. Who doesn't like a little eggs in their toast? <laughs> or eggshell, to be more precise. I don't mind it, you know? It's fancy. Oh dear, the bugs are actually really bad. That's the first time I've hit them. Well, that's okay. All right, we will try to flip this way up this container of something. I honestly can't tell what it is, but doesn't really matter. Okay, now hold on with the left trigger. I'm running out of grip. Yep, yep. It's okay though. Is it? Is it actually okay? <laughs> All right. Let's flip myself over there. Grab with the right trigger. There we go, we just need to get up to the top before our grip runs out and we can reset. That is our conundrum. There we go, okay. Nice, nice job staying on the edge there. I love that I'm taking this eggshell with me. So I mean, I don't know, I'm getting a little better at this. It's not too bad. I just know that getting into the toaster is a different beast Entirely. Just absolutely ridiculous to do. And I've fallen again. Okay, well, at least I didn't go all the way down to the ground. We can try to do this faster, unless I am not allowed to move my toast at all. Because it just decided to stop. Yeah, it's uh, stuck in the geometry or something. Seems to be the case. That is not fun at all. Maybe I can do this. Although I am running out of room and I am possibly going to fall again unless I can flip my, there we go, okay. See that's clutch time, man, that's clutch time. I got it. Now I don't wanna go in this, I guess. I, I mean I could get out if I wanted but I, I just kind of want to flip it over and get it out of the way. I'm kind of stuck. Yeah, I don't know where we're going. You know, let's just uh, hang on for dear life and... Yep. Get over there before my grip runs out. We're just winging it. It's cool with me. All right, let's uh, give myself a second. My hand is kind of hurting already, but at least uh, I feel that the controller is way more comfortable. So yeah, you can see it's uh, it's not too hard to flip once you get used to it. It's it's doing the uh, the right trigger and bumper and left trigger and its bumper. I'm not used to using my middle finger uh, on any of these triggers. It usually just sits still, so that's not too easy to get used to for me. 
So I should line up like this on the corner and do that. Exactly. I mean, that was a perfect throw pretty much. I don't know if I should avoid knives if they like cut into the bread and it somehow ruins it. Maybe not, uh, but now we're only at 59% edibility after running into those those bugs and getting this uh, this egg on me. Oh, okay, that was a stupid fucking move. Why did I do that? Sometimes I just uh, start getting a little silly and I lose control. All right, now let's just flip over easy, line ourselves up for this toaster. Now this is where the real challenge comes in because you can easily miss this slot. More than likely you're going to miss it. Let's let's just say that. I mean, you can try to like wedge yourself. I don't really have much luck though. <laughs> let's be fair here. Uh, LB. No, go back the other way. Now left trigger, exactly. Now if I left trigger an LB, and try to, okay, so it started to toast. Kinda got in there, but not exactly. But it really is hard to get into these things. I honestly don't know if I'll be able to pull it off. I have to be honest. Because it doesn't even toast all the way. I, I The one time that I got into this toaster, it went up to 85%, and then it fucking stopped. And I had to do it again. And I wanted to die inside. Because it took me forever to get in there in the fucking first place. Unless it just starts toasting and then I fucked up and didn't get part of the toasting process. <laughs> or somebody just didn't set it right. Maybe it's set to bagel. I don't know. What kind of monster wouldn't have it set to toast properly? I couldn't tell you. Okay. See, now, that's what I mean. That, that is really fucking frustrating for no reason. It, it feels impossible, and that's, that's where my problem with one of these kinds of games comes in, is if its objective is too goddamn annoying to do, uh, physics-wise. This is becoming that kind of thing for me, trying to do this. Not really a fan of trying to fit into this small hole constantly, over and over again, when it seems like I can possibly get it. But I just have too much momentum and I fly out. Now. Or it just doesn't fit into the geometry properly. I mean, I can sit myself up straight, I can try. I can hold this grip. And then, hold on, let it go. Let's f fill our grip back up now. See, I mean, that's pretty close, isn't it? But you go too fast, and I still haven't figured out how to really slow myself down properly, and I keep flipping the toaster over, you know, shit like that. Just blah, annoying stuff, really annoying stuff. Okay. Well, back to square one. We're 8% toasted. Nine minutes into this. Not really good on time. <laughs> not at all. I'm sure that there are way better bread toasters out there than me. All right, get set up. Okay. Get over on the toaster, thank you. Now. That is not what I wanted to do. It did not grip on the left because it had nowhere to grip. So I completely fucked myself over. Beautiful. Wonderful. Don't you just love life when it throws this at you? <sighs> okay, attach. Please, can you just <laughs> stay on the toaster? That's all I ask. There we go. All right. Now let's wedge, 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 wedge. 
Okay, I mean, I don't know how you went that direction, but cool, you do whatever you want. This is your game, not mine. I'm not playing. This is all about you, Mr. Toast. Get the hell back. Get up there, okay. Get LB. Get. You see what I mean? <sighs> you have to get used to the way it, LB, the, the bumpers and the triggers, their directions are kind of swapped whenever you're trying to turn. And that makes it a little harder to do. I just, that's what I want to do. That's, that's all I want to do. All right. Just need to slide in real easy. See, it fucking popped me out. That is very annoying to have to do this again. As if I didn't already have enough fucking trouble getting myself in there the first time. You had to go and do me like this. Why? Why do you hate people? I want to set up. Can I actually, okay. Go right there. See, and then way too much momentum. It fucking sucks to do that. Now, I don't even know if I can do it really well with the momentum while being on the side of the toast. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's it. I got it. I still, I still got an F. I mean, I, I still got an F. I mean, I, I'd like to go into the next day and see what happens because I, have, I haven't been past the first one, so. Another therapy session. Uh, let's see. Exclaiming that his house had been broken into, but there were no signs. Okay, so. The person that they're talking about lives here. Thinks that he's being broken into. It's just a piece of bread, a sentient piece of bread toasting itself for whatever reason. You know, I don't know. It took three subtle hints that his 60 minutes were up before Mr. Merton ended the session. Uh, let's see. Okay. So we just have a troubled man and we're making him even more paranoid by toasting bread while he is not home. Is this a different person's place? I honestly don't know. But uh, no sane person just leaves their bread in their dirty living room. Who lives like this? Seriously. I'm gonna go into the cat litter. Cause I, you know, I've made myself into a piece. Of, oh, wow, that's a really dirty floor. <laughs> Incredibly dirty. That is so disgusting. Okay, well, I don't know if I can make it over to the cat litter. Oh, maybe if I take the pot with, whoa, all right then. Okay, stay right there. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it anywhere. I'm in a terrible position, so. Like my only option is to, hold on, get my grip back. There we go, use the magazines. And back on the floor we go. We have failed. We have... Okay, so the shoes are clean. All right, well. I can't, I can't get... Yeah. I mean, you get the gist. I'm gonna do that. I don't... <sighs> See, that. that's where I come into an issue is... What else do you do in this game? except just connect to things as a piece of bread. I mean, at least with Octodad, the, the fun with that came with grabbing things and the ability to throw them and have secondary objectives other than it's like, you know, just getting from A to B. Octodad had plenty of depth to it that you could apply because you had mechanics like being able to throw stuff or place it down 
uh, like at the grocery store, having to scan items at the, uh, at the self-checkout. That's a hard task, and it's different from other things in the game. This, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just trying to get to a toaster. I, I mean, the only difference is the environments that I'm scaling, that's all I'm seeing, unless there, oh, I mean that, that litter box is floating now. I don't know if there is any other difference. I would have to play it more, but I don't really have the patience for it at the moment to keep going and see if there's something different to being a piece of bread other than toasting yourself. I mean, is there any is there anything else really in this life as a piece of bread? Is there anything more for me out there? Like, I, I have big dreams, but can I apply myself and get out there and see the world? I honestly don't know. Where is this dude's toaster? Is the real fucking question. I don't know. I mean, I see a pan. Okay, just some lady. Uh, this whole room is just uh, filled with, with garbage. More or less. This person lives very terribly. Like they haven't even moved in. They don't even believe they live here yet. They haven't fully committed to it. And then they just kind of stack their plates and bowls on each other for no real reason. Is the toaster in this room or do I have to somehow get out? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like, yeah, I could go around and knock shit over, but for what reason? I don't know if there's a real reason to doing that. Hold on, let's, uh... Uh, this isn't gonna work out. I'm gonna lose my grip. Well, now I have wedged myself in the couch with possibly no escape. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I can force my way out of here. I don't know. This is I am bread. You are bread. It's all you'll ever be. I'll see you later.